So potentially great news for the DC fandom, but bad news for the Witcher fandom as Henry Cavill is officially no longer Geralt and Mantle of the White Wolf will now be handed over to Liam, which suggests that Man of Steel 2 or Superman 2 or whatever the project will be called is coming along a lot faster than we expected. And they already have named a few directors who may be doing the project, including Yates, who is behind the Harry Potter films. I have to say, if they are going to use Yates, I'm a little discouraged that they're going to pick him to do Man of Steel 2, if they're going to call it that. I don't think he's a bad director, but that doesn't seem to me a very exciting choice. There are other names that are being floated about, like Christopher McQuarrie, and I'm more comfortable if he does Man of Steel 2. But... If it is Yates, it's not a terrible choice. It's just a very, very conventional choice. And in terms of Henry, he is a very strong Witcher fan, but also a Superman fan. So sure, it was an easy decision to leave one for the other, but it does suggest that it will not be just one or two appearances. He will be in the DC universe for the long term, and that will be something that will be structuring the universe around, which is good. I do like his interpretation of Superman. I don't hate the Zack Snyder interpretation, and he has indicated he wants a more joyful version of Superman, which if you saw the Snyder Cut, we did get. Uh, I guess a lot of people did not see the Snyder Cut and just assumed Snyder always has his protagonist being unhappy. So this is mostly positive news for the DC side, but for the Witcher side, I have to say this is a pretty troubling because I've only seen a few episodes of The Witcher, and he's a very strong reason I want to continue watching the episodes, but now that it's passing on to someone else, I don't know. I don't know. And from what I hear, season one was pretty strong, but afterwards it started to decline. And there have been a lot of rumblings that behind the scenes, the writers and producers don't really know the mythology that well. And he had to sort of step in and kind of correct them on certain decisions. Now, to be fair, they often followed his lead, which is good. But the fact that the star of the show has to course correct where the show is going is not a good sign that The Witcher is going to be off to a great start when the new season comes in. But we'll have to wait and see. Now, in other news, and this is more speculative, we're getting a little bit more feedback on the alleged secret project that James Gunn has been pitching to DC. Now, we don't know exactly what the project is, but I'm speculating it will be a crossover project. If you know the DC and Marvel universes, they've often had the heroes and even sometimes the villains collaborate or team up or face off against one another in various battles. Now, in terms of the comic books, this has usually been the X-Men or Teen Titans in terms of the team books as well as the Avengers and Justice League. I would assume the Justice League and Avengers stories would be more easy to adapt, given that they've already been established, whereas some of these other characters have not been established. I mean, technically, we don't have yet some of these characters like Robin or a few other mainstays in the Teen Titans roster. We technically do have Deathstroke, so they have the foundations to do a project like this, but it makes more sense it would be kind of the X-Men and some of the Avengers and the Justice League, because we know those characters already. But it wouldn't be the full-on Avengers, because that would probably be too expensive or just coordinating all the talent. But given that we have the multiverse now, getting a version of the Avengers that is basically almost the same as we got in the MCU films, as well as getting a version of the Justice League we basically have in the Snyder films and the other DC films, wouldn't be that hard. It would, of course, take a lot of cleverness to do it and also... Would this affect the universes? Would this be just a one-time project? It's unclear. But James Gunn is on the record that before he thought it would be very unlikely they could do a crossover event. But now it looks like they could do something like that. But again, it's not confirmed. But Dwayne The Rock Johnson also wants something like a crossover event because it would bring both sides of the fandom out to see their favorite characters. I myself would think it would be a good way to introduce a lot of the X-Men pretty easily and explain why they were not around for a long time. Presumably that's just a multiverse crisis that they have to contend with. But DC is now focused on much more lower budget projects, so I don't know how this would work out in making this a big spectacle event. Maybe it's just going to be a major hero from both sides and they'll be teaming up or fighting one another. We'll have to wait and see. So it's a confirmed fact that The Witcher is losing Henry, and that's pretty sad. It's more speculative if the secret project will be a crossover event, but I imagine now that I imagine now there's going to be a lot more collaboration because we have Kevin Feige over at Marvel. And we have James Gunn over at DC side, so presumably something like a crossover event is inevitable, but will that be the secret project? We'll have to wait and see.